what I'm going to tell you is, you have to be stick with the same pronunciation related to the accent you have chosen for yourself. For example, if you have chosen American accent, so there's a word, W-A-T-E-R. You usually water. say water, water. Right? water. But in America or in American accent, they say water, water. And in water. British, they used to say water. like water, water, right? So the pronunciation you have chosen for yourself, you have to stick on the same accent. Don't try, good evening, MP. I'm doing great. What about you? How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm as fit as Fidel. So we are meeting first time. I would like to know something about you. Well, why not? I would be more than happy to tell about myself. Well, my name is Shiv and uh, I born and born up in India. My native place is Uttarakhand. I hope you heard about it. And by profession, I'm a central government employee. And my, as far as my academic qualification, I'm done with my master in English, master in commerce. And this year I'm pursuing a master in economics. This is my final year. In addition to this, I do teach in university fitness and engineering speakers through different online applications. And uh, I have my own YouTube channel by the name of English with Teachership. So that's all from my side in brief. If you want to know something else, feel free to ask. Okay. No, you have told me that uh, you are a uh, central employee. Central government employee. So, in which platform do you work? Well, I'm working as a clerk in forest department. Forest department? Yes, as a clerk. Okay. That's good. So, without delay our time, I would like to ask some question, if you allow me. Sure, why not? You are more than allowed to ask questions. Please go ahead. You may proceed. Okay. So, my first question is, if you could work anywhere in the world, where would your dream job be located? I want to work in India only because that's my country. Um, I'm born here only and I love my country more than any other place where I want, I'm looking for to work on. And um, as I would say that my own country India is my motherland, I couldn't uh, leave this place anywhere because here I bond, I grown up, I got my bringing and I started my education, my career, my profession, and still I'm having my own in English study here in Italy. I'm not learning English from United States and Canada and United Kingdom. So I love to stay here and work on my own country, yeah. So what's your dream job? Nothing, uh, I don't have any dream job, but uh, yes, I want to become a proficient English trainer. And for that, I need to work hard that I know, and I'm doing it, I'm in progress. And um, after two or three months, I'm looking for some online courses in order to teach English to online platforms. So that's all I uh, had in my mind till now. Okay. So what skills do you think are essential to excel in your dream job? There are three qualities which are mandatory in order to excel your dream job. Number one, you have to make your mind, you have to make up your mind and you have to be very, have a very clear vision about your goal, what exactly you want to do in your life. And to long as you don't have goal in your life, you are going to devolve goal, goal, goal and goal, right? <laughs> That's the first thing. Now, second thing is that strong determination, dedication, hard work, perseverance and self-belief system will allow you to focus a lot in order to achieve what exactly you want to achieve in your life. Now, third one is positive and growth mindset, which means it's life. Life is not about a rolling coaster all the time. They are always up in town. You have to understand the value of being positive and having a growth mindset. If you are a positive person, definitely you are going to take hurdles and hampers in your life in a, as a challenge and you are going to become a warrior, a soldier, where you are ready to fight a fi like a fighter and you can ensure your victory in the end. So try to explore yourself. Don't resist. Don't be free at one place. If you want to become a clerk, after becoming a clerk, you have to apply for a professional clerk. If you became professional clerk, then you have to apply for branch manager than the team manager. In that way, you have to just level up. You have to step up your game at every single stage. So do you think that you have all mm, these skills to get your uh, job? Well, yes, I do have. That's why I'm working as a center government employee because after completing my class 12, 
I got my this dream job and I became a Centric Yemen employee. Along with that, I'm pursuing my academic qualification. I'm done with my two master degrees. And this is third master degree, which I'm pursuing this year. Moreover, I'm trying to learn this language, English, not only learning, but also teaching to those aspirants who are looking for the advancement modification in this language. So my fourth question is, if you could create your own company in your dream field, what would it be and why? I think I got the answer. You are too much passionate <laughs> regarding your English. I'm going to open an English company where I would hire more and more professionals who are really proficient and eloquent in terms of spoken English. And I would invite students around the world so that I can guide and assist them in such a magnificent and remarkable way so that can uh, that can help them in order to become the best version of themselves in terms of spoken English. So the way they speak sense to be that they are speaking like a native speakers, not less than. Okay, so after uh, like no after uh, created your own company, you will are going to launch you will can <laughs> you will I'm not getting the data. I got to say you will like no, uh, you will start your online course that where people will all over the Indian people will get uh, chance to connect with you. Yeah, not only online, in fact, offline as well. I would invite every single learner who is really passionate and enthusiastic in order to hone their communication in terms of spoken English. Once to speak English like a proficient and professional speaker, means. He would speak in such a way that he can speak in his own native language so comfortably, effortlessly, and without making a single mistake, without stucking at any point, without fumbling and stammering. So that's what I'm looking for. Okay. So in your uh, one company, I think we, uh, poor people will be given chance to learn this language. Sure. According to their level, the standard of living their life, I would uh, take admission. The one who's poor can't even afford the payment, the fees, I would give a free of course education because um, our kids are future of our country, right? And being an Indian, I should take charge of those people who are not even um, that situation we can afford free self education and everything. Yeah. Okay. You are seriously such a nice person. <laughs> you are thinking Thanks. regarding our young generation. Yes, they are our future. So, like, no, so it's our duty to think about them. Even why are they, they are deprived right. of everything education facilities, medical facilities, they are deprived of everything. So, as a citizens of our country, if we help them, I'm not talking about that like no, but we can help them if we help them, if we support them a little bit so they can do something new. Correct. So, you hit nail on the head. Yes. So who is your role model, role model in your dream profession and why do you admire them? Uh, I would reply this question, but please don't laugh at me because honestly, it's something that you are going to laugh. Uh, I don't have any role model in my life. I'm the only one who consider myself as a, my role that model, is. which means uh, I don't want to others to let me decide how I'm going to live my life. And I don't want to imitate and copy anyone that I want to become like that. No, I just want to become the best version of myself. That's it. And I know very well until or unless you are not going to identify the meaning of your life, you're not going to understand what exactly you want to do in this earth. You are not, you're not doing anything, just wasting your time. So you have to very much prepare for yourself and you have to make up your mind that yes, this is your agenda, this is your mission, and you have to start your mission as soon as it's possible for you. And uh, when it comes to role model, what is role model? Role model is something that you want to become like him. I want to become my own best version. I want to polish myself more. I want to work upon myself. I want to work on my shortcomings and drawbacks so that I would be able to become more proficient and uh, knowledgeable so that I can provide my information, my knowledge, my experience, those who are literally looking for this thing. 
Okay. So, and one question that is, uh, like, no, that is in my mind, that is, what do you do to improve your, uh, like, no, to improve your accent? Because your accent is really good, very superb. And I feel ashamed that I compare myself with your accent because your accent is really very superb. And I have a great, I can say that a strong MTI. And I also, I'm now these days, I'm trying to reduce my MTI. So one who is a beginner and who is facing this problem and think that uh, uh, pronunciation, even an accent problem. So how can they overcome this challenge and this problem? This is my question. Well, talking I about, about, talking about my accent, uh, I would say there are two reasons behind it. Basically, uh, when I started my journey flying this language, I was such a terrible and very terrifying speaker of English. I was being humiliated by many people for the same. And uh, because I did my schooling from Indian school and I wasn't able to speak English, a single word, and I couldn't uh, introduce myself in English. I started from scratches on zero, and you can understand for one who doesn't have a single word in his mind in the terms of spoken English, how difficult it is for him to overcome with all those challenges. But uh, then I started using one application and there I started talking with different native speakers around the world. In the initial state, I couldn't understand them just because of their foreign accent as I wasn't uh, able to make some sense. And uh, I was not habituated to listen to those kind of speakers because I was talking to Indian speakers most of the time. But as soon as I started talking with them, I started becoming more serious about my spoken English journey. And I started watching YouTube videos of native speakers, how they are speaking. I started listening to their songs. I started watching their movies. From there, I got some idea like this is how they speak. And um, I started interacting with native speakers more and more. So from there, I got a bit influence of their accent on my spoken English. Though I haven't tried to learn any accent in my entire life, neither American nor British because I don't believe on an accent and all that I do believe on, that is correct pronunciation, all right? Now, second reason behind it, last year I decided to improvise my pronunciation because I my pronunciation was not that much good as I have right now, though I'm not good, but still uh, people can understand me and my pronunciation so well. So I decided to work upon my pronunciation and for that I started learning IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet. and. Yeah. Uh, and it can show up here, there are 44 sounds, like 24 consonant and 20 vowel sound. You have yeah. to work on your minimal pace. You have to train your math muscles in order to produce some certain sounds. So though I enunciate different sound, make my way of speaking is entirely different from the way normal Indian speakers speak English. So these are reason. These are the method which you followed in your, uh, like, no, in your initial days. Not initial days, I uh, think you followed last year. Yes, uh, like I didn't follow it, but yeah, I was being indulged into these two steps. Or number one, talking with native speakers. Number two, working upon my pronunciation, and I started learning IPA. But if you want to acquire a foreign accent, the strategies are entirely different. If you want me to tell that, I can tell those steps as well. Shall I? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, for, so if you want to acquire a foreign accent, there are five steps that you need to keep in account. Number one, first of all, you have to choose one accent which you want to adopt. It could be American, British, Canadian, mm -hmm. Australian, whatever, Indian, right? Now, number two, the accent which you have chosen for yourself in order to speak, you have to talk with people having the same accent so that you can observe them very closely how they speak and how they use that accent in terms of spoken English, right? Now, number three is you have to stick with the same pronunciation related to the accent you have chosen for yourself. For example, yeah. if you have chosen American accent, so there's the word W-A-T-E-R. You usually what? say water, water, right? Water, but in America water. or in American accent, they say water, water. And in what? British, they used to say okay. like water, water, right? So the pronunciation you have chosen for yourself, you have to stick on the same accent. Don't try to make an amalgamation. Okay. 
uh, mixer of two different accent, right? Otherwise, you would be uncomprehensible to your listeners or audience to whom so ever you are talking. Rule number four, that is called you have to watch their videos, the content, uh, Hollywood movies, web series with subtitles, and try to observe them very deeply. Don't watch their videos for the sake of enjoyment and having fun now. You have to watch their video for the sake of learning their accent, the accent which you have chosen for yourself, right? Now, last but not least, this is something advanced, but let me tell you, that is called connected English. When I'm saying connected English, what is it? It's all about sound. It's not about words, it's all about sound. For example, in India, we say, I am a boy, right? But when it comes to data speakers, they don't have that much time to say, I am a boy, no. They don't have any resistance in their voice. They speak in a flat tone. Say yes. they must do sound. I am a become ama, ama, um, and boy yeah. will remain. <laughs> so I'm they will boy. say, I'm a boy, I'm a girl, I'm, I'm a doing. Yeah. For example, they don't say father. This is my like he's my father. They say he's my father. Father. Or, they don't speak. Yeah, R. most of the time they speak. Uh, they speak R word. Exactly. They, 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 they drop that R sound. They don't have R sound in their spoken English. Yeah. And uh, sometimes they drop T sound as well. Um, between, for example, we usually say internet, right? Internet. But they don't say internet. They say in an in a net, net. in a net, right? Yeah. And uh, they use some slang as well. We say, I'm going to school, and they say, I'm going to school. I'm and gonna they, uh, we say, I don't know. They say, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just sound. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to want to want to. So these yeah. are things you can implement if you want to sound like a little speaker. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, that uh, my Indian accent is best because <laughs> yeah, I feel comfortable <laughs> in this accent. I that's what I've talk. said. I, I'm really that's happy. That's what I've said. We should <laughs> not focus on any foreign accent. We should focus on our neutral accent. That's really pretty much cool as compared to any different accent. Because learning an accent is not only learning an accent. You have to learn complete culture, how they speak, how <laughs> they produce sound. And the way they speak, I was sometimes I also laugh at myself why I got the influence of the accent <laughs> when I spoke English. But that's what I find. So, now to some extent, I have control it, and I, I don't speak exactly like the native speakers because I haven't learned the accent. Uh, I speak like I have a mixture of three accents like American, British, and Indian. But uh, I guess the way I'm speaking right now, you can understand, right? <laughs> it's totally fine for me. Yeah. I... <laughs> Okay, so I don't have any other question for you. So it was a nice session with you. If you have any question, you can ask me. It's already 18 minutes has done. <laughs> well, I just now I don't have any question for you, but for sure for in my upcoming days or in our next video, definitely I'm going to ask some question to you, right? So uh, I have enjoyed a lot. This was a really nice, beautiful and colorful conversation with you. And yeah. uh, thanks for it's connecting with me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So bye-bye, take care. Have a nice day and keep learning, keep improving, keep shining. Wish you all the best for your English journey. See ya. Bye.